This is the sh <laughs> Don't curse, bro. This is the sh No, don't curse. This is the bro. Stop. When you get reactions like those, you know it's something special. For today's cook, I'm making the butter of the gods and seriously, take a look at these beautiful steaks. That's no wonder why things got a little bit out of hand. But one thing I can definitely promise you is that by the end of this video, you will be witnessing the most flavorful steaks we ever had in our lives. This is steak with the butter of the gods, so let's do it. Guys, no cursing allowed as you guys know. Yes, but it is the <laughs> <laughs> And I start with this ingredient right here. It is bone marrow. If you've never had it, it is difficult to explain. It's basically the best butter you ever had made out of beef. But you do need to treat it right in order to extract the best flavor. Right here, as you can see, it's not only bone marrow, but there are also a little bit of blood. If you remove most of the blood, it will taste a lot better. And to remove it, it's pretty easy. In a bowl with cold water, add in some salt and mix it well. Make sure it's completely dissolved. Then add in your bone marrow and throw in that salty water. The longer you leave in your refrigerator, the more blood you will extract. I left mine for three days. Once the three days were up, I took them out and as you can clearly see, it is completely white. That is exactly what you're looking for. The great thing is that this really intensifies that wonderful beefy flavor. If you were gonna cook these bone marrows right now and just enjoy them as is, I definitely recommend you seasoning them right now. But we're gonna be using them as an ingredient for our butter of the gods. So for that, I added no seasoning at all. I just threw them in my broiler at the highest setting and let them cook for 10 minutes. Once the time was up, check it out. That is a fully cooked bone marrow and it is absolutely delicious. I know it doesn't look like much, but me and my nephew Angel love it. But since we're gonna be using it to make the butter of the gods, I just gotta remove it. And I mean, check this out. This is what it looks like. It is, like I mentioned before, meat butter. But now that we have our bone marrow completely extracted, it's time to jump on to the next special ingredient. I know it looks like a golden nugget, but it's not. It is a cured egg yolk. And to make it, it's so easy. Here's how. The first thing we need to do is to mix three parts salt with one part sugar. This is the perfect ratio for curing them. Then I recommend making some crevices so the egg yolk will fit perfectly. And talking about that, you definitely want to leave the egg whites behind. We're only using the yolks, nothing else. As you can see, by the time I was done, there's still a little bit of that little white spots. And that is totally okay. Using the rest of the salt and sugar mix, you want to make sure everything is 100% completely covered. And now, as you can see, we have it 100% ready. All there's left to do is to let it cure in your refrigerator. You're looking at for anywhere between 5 days to 7 days. For me, 5 days were good enough. Once the time was up, you gotta carefully remove them. Even though they are perfectly cured, you can still burst them. I definitely recommend you using a spoon and do not use a fork. I'm telling you that from previous experience. Now to make sure we remove all of the salt, just wash them in fresh water. And as you can see, by the time I was done, it is perfectly cured. That, my friends, is like gold. But we're not done yet. To make sure they are 100% dry, I recommend putting it in your oven at the lowest setting. If you have a dehydrated, that's even better. But putting them at the lowest setting in your oven for two hours hours should do the trick. And for me, once the time was up, this is what I was left with. As you can see, it is perfectly cured. And I'll tell you one thing, this is good in anything, especially with steaks. But now that we have both of the special ingredients ready, it's time to make the butter of the gods. And for that, I threw in butter, followed by bone marrow, parsley, shallots, garlic paste, anchovy paste, season it with a pinch of salt, and of course, our cured egg yolk. Make sure you shave all of it. This is one of those ingredients that I say the more the better. Now all there's left to do is to blend it well with our food processor and the butter of the gods is almost ready. I like to use clinch plastic to make my job easier. You just gotta spread on it, fold the edges and make sure everything is nice and tight just like this. That my friends is the butter of the gods. The only thing left to do is to let it rest in our refrigerator for two hours because once that time is done, this is what you're left with. I am telling you right now, it is the best thing you can ever put on a steak. To go along with that beautiful butter and also our steaks, I decided to make some garlic fries. And this one is super easy to do. As you can see, I'm using the frozen fries. And I'll tell you one thing, to me, they are as good as the fresh ones. Do not be intimidated just because they were previously frozen. With them, you have two options. You can either fresh fry them on oil or put it in your oven at the highest setting. If you don't want to deal with the oil, the oven will work just fine. That is exactly what I did. Because what makes this fry special is actually the 
sauce. And to do it is super easy. I started by melting one full stick of butter, threw in a little bit of garlic paste and mixed everything well. That is how easy it is to make this garlic butter. Now the only thing left to do is to throw them on your fries, toss them and make sure that every single fries is completely covered with that garlic butter. For coloring and taste, add a little bit more of parsley, grate a good amount of parmesan cheese on top and your garlic fries is done. That is as easy as it gets to make some amazing fries. And just by the look of these, I don't have to tell you how good they are, do I? But of course, we are missing the star of the show. And that is these two beautiful filet mignons. But I'll be honest with you, with that butter of the gods, you can use any steak you like. But come on, filet mignon is filet mignon. To season them, I kept it extremely simple. I threw in a little bit of salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder, nothing else. As always, make sure you season all sides, including the edges. And don't let anyone tell you that filet mignon is not flavorful. Because if you add the butter of the gods, woof it might just be the best steak you ever had. Talking about that, the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting a beautiful sear on these steaks. Then I'm going to cook them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. And of course, do not forget about the butter and the egg yolk. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook these beautiful steaks. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful filet mignons, huh, Angel? You know, lately, uh. when you say beautiful, yes. you're starting to mean it every time. <laughs> this one looks phenomenal, everybody. It looks yeah. like it was in a high-end restaurant or something. It's like even a, like a golden locks. What is that? <laughs> I was going to ask What is that, you, Angel? <laughs> it's not lemon. I would smell it if it was lemon. I know. it's not, It does look like lemon. Good point. It's not lemon. It's very interesting. I actually cured an egg yolk and shaved it in there. That's basically pure egg yolk. Let's try this first. You tell me how you like this one. You don't have to because ask me I'll tell you one price. thing. Just by the looks of it, everybody, it looks, it looks fancy. absolutely phenomenal. Garlic fries, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That is amazing. It is so easy to make. Wow. You know what? Mm. It's like when you describe it, the word is nice. <laughs> Even though it's not expensive, it tastes expensive. It's like it tastes like, like a fancy fries. Like, yeah, it does taste like fancy fries. But I'll say it tastes like everything goes together. Right. You've made different types of fries before. This is my favorite. I'm saying it. Really? Yeah, I'm saying it. It's phenomenal. You can quote me. And you're gonna These see. These are my favorite so far that I've had. Let's try this. Let me know, Angel. Ah, uh, you got the gun, the one with the butter. Oh, look at that, everybody! As you saw it on the video, absolutely, Ooh. perfectly medium rare, just the way I like it. Not I was about to tell you, huh? This thing looks like. I know, right? From the gods. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, enough talking, everybody. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> when everything goes silent it is something to be admired it's because you really want to enjoy that wonderful flavor that is left in your mouth talk to me angel what do you think this is the <laughs> don't curse bro <laughs> this is the no don't curse this is bro stop dude stop <laughs> Guys, no cursing allowed, as you guys know. Yes, but it is the. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is so good. It is, it is, very unique. 
No, that, that this is very amazing. Yes, it's it's you have the taste of the beef, but then the butter, the flavorful butter, mm. hits you right like after. I don't know how to describe it. It's phenomenal. Oh. And this will do anything to any steak. Mm. Even you just want me to rub it in there. Even if you don't have filet mignon, or if you want to use a ribeye or anything like that, it doesn't matter. But anything will be good. Quiet. Let try me that. See. Try that. It's like you're melting. I don't it's know about the eggs over there, but this is good. It's like you don't want to. You want to. You don't want to swallow it. I don't know if this one can stand up to this. There's no way. I don't know. There's no way. All right, let's try the other one. You ready? No. Mm. I never had shaved egg before so <laughs> i thought you're gonna call it like golden locks or something like that or cheers everybody that is good but no way close to the first one what do you think i might have to change my mind <laughs> filet mignon is my favorite <laughs> don't say that bro that's Rib it is amazing that's it ribeye that's it <laughs> the egg yolk Super, super creamy, but at the same time, a little bit savory, like salty. Yeah. And not overpowering whatsoever the steak. At all. You know what I mean? It goes but very well. It is absolutely incredible. It's so Probably good. the best steak of 2020 if I don't come up with any other crazy stuff. You know what I mean? It is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think we can Try it. it with any steak. I don't think it matters what type of steak you're going to eat. It is the butter of the gods. This egg mm. yolk thing is amazing everybody mm. and it's so easy to make you don't need any special equipment you just got to put the time in and let me tell you something it will be worth it anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in any of the equipment i use everything is always in the description down below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody bye bye we out i gotta do it what I gotta give this a little bit to my wife. Oh, I gotta shake hand. Oh, that's very rare. That's very rare from this one right here. So I guess it's really good. You All have right. outdone yourself, sir. Oh, what, what is that over there? All right.